Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. different location. I'm currently sitting at my desk if you couldn't tell because I'm going to be unboxing my iPad that just came in the mail. This is the iPad 7th generation in the space gray color. Before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not trying to brag at all in this video. This iPad was actually a graduation gift from my parents and I'm going to be using it when I start physical therapy school in August and I feel so so lucky that I was able to receive this as a graduation gift so I just wanted to get that off the table before I get started. So you're probably wondering how I got a new iPad for $249. So like I said, I got this iPad because I plan to use it for my note taking for physical therapy school. A couple of weeks ago on YouTube, I discovered the lovely channels all about studying and iPads and like going electronic with your notes and they were just the coolest videos ever and I'm so sad I didn't know that these channels existed until very very recently. Um, so after watching a ton of videos on iPads I was like oh my gosh this is so something that would be really helpful for me education wise and something I was really interested in. So then from there I started researching all the different... Sorry my bag fell. So after watching all these YouTube iPad note-taking videos, I started researching the different models of iPads. So there's the iPad Pro, the iPad Air, and then just the iPad, which is the one that I got. And at first I thought you needed an iPad Pro to take notes on because that's what everyone was showing with like the newest Apple Pencil and the newest iPad. And if you buy both of those items, you're easily in the $1,000 plus dollar category. And I just did not want to spend that much on an iPad because I already have a MacBook that works really well for notes. So that kind of took that off the table for me. So then I was talking to my mom and she was like, oh, well, I got grandma an iPad for Christmas on sale and it was only like $200 or so. And I was like, there's no way, like you're mistaking, they do not make iPads that cheap. And then I was looking on bestbuy.com and I saw this iPad for $249 on sale for Memorial Day. And it can do pretty much everything as the iPad Pro and the iPad Air. I'm not a tech person, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the only difference is like the quality of the camera and the processing speed and stuff like that. But if you're literally only using it for school, I think the regular iPad is just as good as the other two options. And you literally will save like a thousand dollars by not getting the pro or the air so now on to the unboxing because i know that's what all of you guys want to see stick to the end if you want a little bit of a life update from me because i'm going to be changing houses by i guess the video after this i'll be in a different house so if you want to hear about that stay till the end first things first i have my clorox wipes these are the sentiva wipes and they smell like coconuts and they honestly smell really good I don't know if this even does anything, but my mom says we should Clorox down the packages before. I'm gonna try very hard to not show my address in this. So that's why I'm holding the box up. Oh my gosh. Okay. How do people open these so nicely? So here's the box. Like I said, I got the space gray color. I really wanted the rose gold one, but it was out of stock, so space gray it is. I feel like this is the universe's way of telling me I need to stop buying pink things now that I'm an adult and out of college, but who knows. So it is the iPad 7th generation. I just got the Wi-Fi because I'm always going to be connected to Wi-Fi. I didn't really see a use to need cellular. And I only got the 32 gigabytes, which I know isn't that much storage, but like I said, I'm only going to be using it for notes and I figured if storage ever became an issue, I could just like email myself like old notes to my laptop if that makes sense. Like I don't think I'm really going to be storing a whole ton on here. Oh, and another thing that I realized I forgot to mention in the intro. So like I said, I got this on sale for $249, but full price it is $329, which still isn't that bad for an iPad. But if you're a student, there is this thing called the Apple Education Store where students get a 20% discount. So you can get this for $309 at any time of the day and I'll link that website down below so you guys can get that deal. Let's open up this guy. 
Also, I'm not a tech channel at all. As you can see, I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Because I, like I said, saw a lot of videos out there unboxing iPad Pros for school, but not just the iPad 7th gen. And I really would have liked to see more of those when I was trying to buy this guy. I'm so sorry. I'm not good at this. There she is, my iPad 7th generation. Let's take it out. I've been waiting all day for this to come because I knew it was going to be delivered. I've been tracking her like crazy. So I guess I'll show this. Um, good, Kristen. So what just fell out was just some instructions. So I'll read those later. And then charger. I've been waiting all day to peel these little guys off. I think it's like the most satisfying thing ever when people peel these off. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out how to show this nicely. Oh, so satisfying. Now what? I'm so sorry, this unboxing is definitely gonna be a fail, but I'm gonna upload it anyways because it'll be funny and relatable. Who doesn't like relatable YouTubers, am I right? All right. There we go. Initial thoughts, it is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I had a dream a couple days ago that this arrived and it literally was the size of my iPhone and I was so confused and my parents were like yelling at me being like, you should have checked the dimensions before you ordered it. So I'm glad that it's not the size of my iPhone. But the back is this color. I actually really like the black. I ordered a pink case from Amazon, but it hasn't been delivered yet. It's like one of those magnetic cases that you can fold up so it's like propped up. I'll insert a picture. And I am getting the Apple Pencil, but I'm going to wait a little bit closer till school starts to get it because I don't really have a use for it now. But at the same time, I want to get it a little before school so I know how to use it. She's loading. I'm so excited. I guess I'll fast forward this part. Hello. Hola. I don't know what to do. I'm just going through the languages. Now it's in Chinese. I don't know what I did. <sighs> Press home to open. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. English. United States. My Wi-Fi network. Fun fact, I had like the first ever iPad that came out like when I was in middle school. I still have it. It's like sitting in my room at school. But it's cracked and I looked up how much I could sell it for and the answer was $5. Um... I don't want a passcode on it. I guess I have to do one. Let's do. Creative. That's also my phone password, so. Love that. If you find my iPad, don't steal it. Okay, comment down below if you're team light mode or dark mode. I used to hate on people that were dark mode, but then I changed it and like you literally can't go back. Welcome! Ah! Oh my goodness! Okay, so obviously it comes preloaded with all of the Apple apps on there. I don't think I'm going to set my messages to it or else I would like constantly be checking my messages in class. I also don't have my iMessages to my laptop for that same reason, just because I feel like it would distract me a ton. So I'm about to go eat dinner with my family, but after dinner, I'm going to download some apps and test them out and share them with you guys. So I will see you soon. So we have the drawing pad to just doodle on, Canva to create some thumbnails, YouTube studio, YouTube, the app for my grad school for like grades and courses and registration and all that fun stuff. Outlook for my email, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. I also figured out how to do the cool split screen thing. Okay, so say that you had a PowerPoint up for class and then you wanted to open a Word document. There you go. You have the PowerPoint on one side and then the Word doc on the other and you can type up your notes. So this is the feature that I'm mostly gonna be using. I'm thinking about getting like the keyboard case so I can type if I need to, but I'm definitely gonna be getting one of those apps that you use with the Apple Pencil. 
If you guys use your iPad for school, let me know if Notability or GoodNote is better because I've heard mixed opinions about that. So overall, I'm really impressed with my iPad so far. It is perfect for a student. It is very, very affordable. Only $249, whereas a laptop is like in the thousands and the other iPad editions are also that much. So I definitely, definitely recommend the iPad 7th generation. So now that I've talked about my iPad for who knows how many minutes, I'm gonna give you guys a life update like I said in the beginning of this video. So shout out to you if you are still watching. Thank you. Love you guys. Some of you may or may not know I'm currently back home with my family in Pennsylvania, although I just graduated from college at the University of Georgia in May a few weeks ago. So I have my apartment there until the end of July and then I'll be moving to Atlanta. My lease in Atlanta technically starts July 1st, so I'm kind of going to be splitting my time for the month of July. But this weekend, me and my boyfriend are driving back to Athens because I'm starting work again, which I'm actually really excited about. It's been really weird not working for the past two months, and I miss my little kiddos that I work with. So I'm really excited for that. So yeah, basically, as I'm filming this, it is a Thursday. I'm going to drive back this weekend. This video will go up on Monday. So when you're watching this, I'll be back in my apartment in Athens, Georgia, which I love you guys probably have heard of a lot of famous YouTubers that go to UGA because there is a few of them. Um, and I love all their videos, by the way. So I guess the next time you see me, it will be in my house in Athens. And I'm going to be doing a room tour my first video back because that's one going to force me to clean my room as soon as I get back so I can get that video up for you guys. And two, that's just like the video I've been most excited about since I started my channel. I like my room here at home too, but it's honestly super plain and doesn't have a lot of decorations in it just because I'm only here a few times a year. But I'm really excited to get back to school and show you my room and show you a little bit more of my personality there too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my iPad. I'm thinking about doing a review of this once I actually start using it for note taking and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on Thursday. I will see you guys on Thursday in my next video. Bye friends. God is a